Hey guys, it's Jim Nix. Hope you're having a good day. I am sitting here playing around in Luminar Pluto, and I just love it, of course. And what I'm going to talk about today is a particular filter called Color Balance. So I'm going to go Add Filter, and I'm going to grab Color Balance. And let me bring that up. So if you take a look at it, there's basically three color bands and three sections of tones, right? The tones are divided between shadows, midtones, and highlights. And the color bands are here. You have cyan to red, magenta to green, and yellow to blue. And it's really just a function of picking the shadows, the midtones, or the highlights, and then taking these color bands and sliding them left or right to get the right mix of tones uh, in the image. Now, you can use this to accentuate colors, like in a beautiful sunset, or this was a sunrise uh, taken along the Texas coast. You could also do it to get sort of creative edits done in terms of your, your color toning. You could do some sort of bi-color toning, which is a different filter, but you could do similar looks like that by just sort of messing around and doing sort of unnatural pairings. I'm not gonna do that here. I just wanna show you kind of how I'd handle this photo. So this was a sunrise. Let's say I wanna amp up the colors and change the tones a little bit. I might would move the shadows that way a little bit. Um, and then you come in here, you can choose mid-tones. And let's say I wanna get a little bit more amped up of that kind of yellow. And let me go to highlights as well and maybe do something similar. And there we go. So let me show you what I've done. Let me get this over here. You can see it was very blue, uh, even though it was sunrise and the sun was peeking through and, and really it was a beautiful morning, to be honest. But you can see what I've done in just a couple of sliders. And also you can tell I haven't moved these very, very far. That's a 10, a negative 8, a 9. In midtones, you know, the most I did was 12, and in shadows, most I did was eight. So those are very minor adjustments that, in my opinion, if you look again, had a really big impact on the photo. And to be honest, there's not a recipe that you use every time. You know, it's just experimentation, which is one of the fun things I think about uh, photography and uh, luminar in particular, is just get a filter and experiment. And that's what I'm talking about with color balance. I love color balance. I use it on a lot of my images. I also use it in a lot of my presets. Let me show you one more example. I've got this photo here. This is New York. Again, just like the last one, I've done nothing to this photo prior to bringing it in. Um, but this is uh, New York City, and I've got color balance. So let's say I want to take the uh, shadows and make them a little bluer, if I could get my mouse to work. Uh, it's not working. Come here. All right, here we go. So. That's a little too much cyan, so I'm gonna come this way with that one and give it a bit more of a blue. And let's say I wanna go into midtones and sort of bring up the warmth of those and see what kind of trouble we can get into here. And then maybe I'll do something similar with the highlights. Just kind of playing around, just having fun. But let me show you what I've done to the photo. You can see it's a, it's a big difference and I really haven't done anything. And keep in mind, in both of these photos, I haven't used any other filters. All I've done is color balance. So I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't edit a photo completely with just one filter. I usually use seven, eight, nine, ten filters, you know, sometimes fewer. But in this one, I would uh, probably do some reverse structure to smooth out the water. I'd probably add some structure to the buildings. I'd probably use top and bottom lighting to bring up the uh, the uh, luminosity or the exposure setting here in the in the foreground of the photo. But the point was really here is that with color balance, you can take it from that to that, really with no trouble at all. And it's a significant shift in tones and color. And I just think it looks great, uh, even without doing all the other things that I'd normally do to it. So that's the power of color, color balance. If you haven't used it, definitely get in there, play around, just move stuff around, try it in highlights, midtones, as well as shadows. Some photos it works really well on. Sometimes it doesn't, admittedly, but it's a great tool. It's wonderful to have. And let me know if you have any questions. I appreciate you tuning in. I'll see you next time, friends. Adios.